Hey everyone, Drew here and two years after the last dark chain reshaped the meta, we are getting a new version of her, a new dark chain in a swimsuit version. Can she do the same as she did two years ago and really go to number one in the SSR world rankings? I am not fully convinced, but let's check out her skills. I mean, her speed already is super high and then Going into the skill set, we see that she is a push to try to get stealth back into the game, into the meta. First up, we get a skill though that is quite similar to the dark summons of the dark bright snow white. We get dark spirit, which produces two spirit and costs 100 time units. Usually it damages one enemy and if dark gene is at 50% HP or less, she will basically life flip. Otherwise, allies will also gain two additional spirit. Meaning this skill produces four spirit if she is above 50% HP when using it. In the second skill, we see why this unit is a push for stealth. We have a skill called Stealth Zone, costs one spirit and just 30 time units and it affects all allies on the battlefield or more specifically each ally that has a stealth strike type active skill and that means any skills that are unlocked while their user has stealth so someone like earth Orsia is also considered each ally that fulfills that kind of description is healed for 500 percent of the user's attack that being dark gene they also become enraged they gain the stealth with a stealth shield more on that in a bit and they also gain three spirit for each other affected ally so not including dark chain meaning this skill could potentially net you eight spirit while doing a lot of that other stuff however it is only usable if dark chain does not have both stealth and a stealth shield what is a stealth shield they basically prevent the next other status effect a unit would gain while stealth from applying. So that is possibly sleep, possibly burn, giving them basically a bit of extra protection against sleep and poison and burn, of course. Of course, if that unit doesn't have stealth anymore, the stealth shield will also be gone. As you know, any damage will remove stealth and they can possibly ignore attacks that would hit more than one unit however as you know there are some certain exceptions in the newer units which made stealth considerably weaker enraged means 50 percent additional attack however someone like storm elmina cannot benefit from that as they already have stealth power now with the next two skills we will get to how dark chain will actually dish out a lot of damage and the first one is the stealth ravager 500 percent damage to two enemies and as you know if she's enraged that means 750 percent damage allies also gain one spirit for each ally that has the stealth status effect so that means yes while it costs three spirit to use that skill potentially there will be a relatively spirit neutral outcome of course, it's only usable if Dark Jean has the stealth status effect, but she has a lot of ways to actually get that. And this attack ignores any enemy status effects, including stealth, damage reduction effects, revenge passive skills, and skin passive skills. 130 time units is a bit much, but you haven't seen her passives yet, and it is an attack that attacks two enemies, and she can do so very quickly. And her last skill will look very similar or sound very similar to you as Cinderella's Survivor Storm. And yes, the animation here is a bit amusing, I would say. But yeah, we have Survivor's Rush here, cause Sue Spirit is an instant skill, so one time unit, 500% damage to one enemy. This attack ignores enemy damage reduction effects. She will also gain Endure, which means the next damage that would defeat it she survives with 1 HP. She is also fully healed. She is also, and this is an addition over the Cinderella Survivor Storm, 
she is also granted the stealth status effect and a stealth shield. This might mean that she rarely uses the stealth zone skill after unlocking this survivor's rush, which is locked for 300 time units of course and then locks again for 50 time units after each use so very very similar to the cinderella skill but additionally she also gains stealth and a stealth shield which means because it is an instant skill if she has enough spirit she can right away do another stealth ravager right after this or use the dark spirits which will produce four spirit in this case it is not timed as neatly as with Cinderella with the kind of Hypnoblast Survivor Storm combo just really going into each other like clockwork. However, once you see her passives, you will see that she will also be able to dish out huge amounts of damage in very, very limited time amounts. However, one thing that you can already see is that she doesn't have any kind of old ground plus ignore that we saw in the two recent releases in King Arthur and Storm Clarice. Let's look at her passives. I already teased this a bit. We have the Shadow Dash. Whenever she enters the battlefield from reinforcements, allies gain three spirits. So we have a spirit plus entry. She is fully healed. So we have a heal entry. She gains the stealth status effect. So we have a shadow entry and she will immediately get the turn by having her time units reduced to zero, which is a light speed entry. <laughs> And the funny thing is, this is just the first paragraph of her Shadow Dash skill. Also, whenever she is stealthed, her active skill time unit costs is reduced by 40%. And all Stealth Striker allies are also quickened by 30%. And this applies when she is on the battlefield at the start, as well as she enters from reinforcements. However, this quicken effect does not apply to Dark Jean herself. And if you thought that first passive skill description was long, just wait until you see the second passive here, which is called Mikaela's Rescue. What this means is basically that she has kind of an endure status effect that also triggers an action. If she hasn't used Survivor's Rush yet and there are any non-conjured allies on the battlefield, she will be sent away from the battlefield to be next in line of allied reinforcements. Even if there's just one ally left, for example, then the battlefield will be filled up with Kuro Moris just to enable her to re-enter from the reinforcements later. However, if she has already used Survivor's Rush, then she will not be sent back to the reinforcements. Instead, she will heal to full HP, gain the stealth status effect, and she will also endure the next damage that would defeat her with one HP. This basically means as long as there are non conjured allies on the battlefield and she hasn't used her survivor's rush yet, she looks very unkillable. And of course, being sent back to the reinforcement ties in nicely with her light speed entry skill. Basically, she could enter the battlefield and immediately use a stealth ravager with 40% reduced time unit costs because she will have enough spirit, she will have the stealth status effect needed. So yeah, a very strong entry unit. And she is not immovable, as are a lot of other genes. This means this could potentially be abused by someone like Storm Michaela sending back Dark Gene to the reinforcements constantly. However, it is a bit unfortunate that we don't really have a Michaela in this case. No summoning type skill that was usually really a standard feature with genes or chance. I don't know. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Anyways, one last note on that Michaela's rescue skill. It will not trigger if there is another summertime fallen angel dark gene on the field. That can of course only happen if you use a merc, a mercenary in an event for example and this is basically to prevent her from becoming pretty much undying because she would always possibly have another unconjured dark gene that is an ally that could possibly trigger the Michaela's rescue effect. 
But yeah, that's a first view on the skills of the new Dark Jean. I'm a bit hesitant. I think she could be a great unit, but the question is, is it really enough to bring back stealth? I mean, this is certainly the strongest stealth unit around, but to really shine and be very spirit efficient, she would potentially need some other stealth allies on the field. Who could that be? Someone like Earth Ossia, maybe even Earth Musha, a bit of a comeback there. I mean, the thing is, after unlocking the Survivor's Rush, or rather after using the Survivor's Rush, she basically becomes like a Cinderella. I mean, this doesn't have to be bad. This could actually be very good. But is it enough? I can see a lot of nice cycling potential here. But what will be very, very important is going to be her AI. How she is treated by enemies on the battlefield. How she is focused. And from what I've seen, she might be focused more after having used the survivor's rush which is a potential problem but in any case i am gonna talk more about her ai where i think she will tier in arena and what are her pros and cons in my extended review on the weekend as always so make sure to subscribe and like this video to become a true carrot and as always thanks for watching